and welcome back to my channel. Well, it's less than two months until Ryan the Last Dragon is released and we still don't have a second trailer. However, some lucky people have seen a screener for the film and I am so jealous. They haven't seen the whole film but only about 25 to 30 minutes. The reviews so far are glowing. There is a lot of praise for the voice acting. People love Kelly Marie Tran with the distracted Tatiana describing her voice as heaven sent. Additionally, Caitlin Booth said that her voice is lovely. There is also plenty of love for Aquafina, with Eamon Jacobs stating that Aquafina's Sisu brings an unpredictably fun energy to the adventure. Additionally, Amy Fulcher said that Aquafina should be in everything. There is also a lot of love for Tuk Tuk. TheLaughingPlace.com said that people are going to fall in love with him, and Mama Vision said that Tuk Tuk is her new favourite animal sidekick. There is a lot of praise for the Southeast Asian representation as well, with Michael Lee describing the movie as rich in Southeast Asian representation. It comes through in its architecture, costumes, food, landscape, mythology and weaponry. There is an implication that the animation for the prologue is unique, with the distracted Tatiana saying it gave her goosebumps. This is probably the sequence where the dragons sacrifice themselves for humanity. Additionally, people are confirming that the movie gives off an Indiana Jones vibe as we thought from the teaser trailer. In respect to Raya's character, people are saying she is a combination of Mulan and Moana. Janine says that she has hints of Mulan, Moana and Indiana Jones and Mama Vision says Raya is full of sass, heart and kicks serious butt. Moana and Mulan are great female characters so I'm so excited to see a similar sort of vibe. The reviews have also stated that the film will deal with the theme of natural disasters. Janine in a tweet says, The themes of plague and natural disasters that should unite a world and doesn't feel painfully relevant, but Aquafina does a great job lightening it up. I can't believe we did colonialism with Frozen 2 and now we're tackling climate change. People can't tell me Disney's for kids anymore. Because Disney loves to torture us, there will be some sadness in the film. Amy Fulcher said that there is, of course, some sadness, and that's just in 20 minutes. I think that Raya's father's gonna die, I'm calling it now. There was one interesting comment on Twitter that I was a little concerned about. Laura said, I did recognise some of the other voices and not happy about it. This worries me that potentially some of the voices could not be Southeast Asian. I really hope they don't do that, that would be a terrible idea. But I already know the question that everyone is going to ask in the comments. When is the new trailer? Well, according to the producer, there is an awesome new trailer coming soon. I think that we will get it before the end of the month on Good Morning America. Anyway, that's all for today. Please like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.